Well, I finished I Jedi, which means that's my last Star Wars book for the year. Let's get into the information about the book. I Jedi by Michael A. Stackpole was released in 1998 by Bentham Spectra, and it is set 11 ABY. Before we get to the review, what's going on guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to another book review. If you like these book reviews, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more book reviews in the new year. There will be spoilers for this book, so consider that your warning. And one little thing, yeah, I have an eBay store that, uh, you know, it's got, I'm uh, selling some Disney Star Wars books on there, you know, just decluttering a little bit, and uh, a few LEGO Star Wars sets, and a copy of Battlefront 2 for the PS2, so, you know, if, if you're curious, the link will be in the description down below. And now, without further ado, Dramatis Personae, Corin Horn. Rogue Squadron pilot and Jedi student from Corellia. Uril Quirg, a Rogue Squadron pilot and a friend to Corrin. He is from Gand. Booster Tarek is Corrin's father-in-law and the captain of the Errant Venture. He is Corellian. Merex Tarek is Corrin's wife and she captains the Pulsar Skate and she is also Corellian. Mara Jade, leader of some smugglers and she's force sensitive. Kip Duran is a Force-sensitive, and he's from Dare. Dan Torres, a Force-sensitive human male from Eol Shaw. Dream, a Force-sensitive human male from Bespin. Dorsk81, a Force-sensitive male from Kong. A clone. Karani T, a Witch of Dathomir. A Jedi student. Tione, a Force-sensitive female from Rindau, one of Luke's students. Kilgal, a Force-sensitive female from the Mon Calamari and she's proficient in force healing and also becomes a student of Luke's. Sarkoon, a human male, former Jedi and Sith Lord of the Old Republic. Dark Cam Solusar, he is a Jedi student and a former Darksider. Luke Skywalker is obviously the, the master of the new Jedi Order. Elagos Akla becomes a friend to Corrin. He is a Kamasi. Leonia Tavira, she is an Imperial Moth of Yatu-6 and an Admiral of the Imperial Star Destroyer Invidious. I Jedi. Corrin gets home from a mission to find his wife Merax gone. He later has a dream about her which leads him to Luke. As, you know, basically he gets the, the dream. You know, it's, it's not a good dream, so it leads him to believe that she got taken. So, Corrin joins Luke's Jedi Praxium to learn to hone his Jedi skills so he can go rescue Merax. And obviously, it follows the events of the Jedi Academy trilogy, you know. You get all the training, you know, and deal with x Coon, you know, Kip Durin coming and going and leaving and hurting Luke and all that stuff. So I'm not going to summarize that here. If you, if you want to know the events, I mean, the Jedi Academy reviews go more in depth. He then leaves to go to Corellia to talk to his step-grandfather and learn about his grandfather, Nedja Halcyon, who was a Jedi. He and his step-grandfather set up a cover identity, Genos Adanian, to infiltrate the Invids, who were the ones that kidnapped Marax. Corrin goes to Corcus, where the Invids are based. He slowly works his way up the ranks, you know, joins the various squadrons and, you know, works his way up that way. And then sometime after this, the Invids attack Kirilt, which is where Corrin meets Elagos. Leonia wishes Corrin to serve as her consort, but Corrin refuses. That angers her, blah, 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 you know. And then with the help of Elagos, Corrin dons Jedi attire and weakens the Invids, you know, through basically just, you know, like sowing chaos that so the Invids will leave and it'll weaken them, weaken their forces. And this eventually leads to an encounter with the Gen Sarai, which are Force users allied with Leonia. That's when Luke shows up with Uril and helps Corrin fight the Gen Sarai. They capture the Gen Sarai and they learn from them where Merax is. So our heroes rescue Merax and they confront the Sarai Kar, which is the leader of the Gen Sarai. They best her. And they offer her and the Jin Sarai to come to Yavin 4 to learn the ways of the Jedi. As, uh, you know, 
they may have been led astray by their master, but they still there's still that potential, you know. And obviously, Luke needs more Jedi's, so it's like if if they'll become good Jedi's, then you know, why not? And uh, yeah, so you know, the good guys win, but Leonia escapes. What I liked, I felt like this book had way more Jedi training, and it just nailed, I think, the stuff at the academy far better than the trilogy did i just felt like the trilogy felt more focused on other stuff like we were were doing the admiral akbar and princess leia those storylines too much it should have been more focused on the jedi but yeah so yeah nailed that and uh the stuff with nedja halcyon and you know his lore and corin learning uh, more about his grandfather and and, you know like corin learns you know tricks and things that his grandfather had left behind so i mean he learns how to make a lightsaber which is cool and yeah which i'm sure will get shared with luke at the jedi academy and then corin's time um undercover where he was you know where he he would don his jedi attire and basically go on it was like a vigilante it's like kind of like batman or something like that it was it was really awesome this book i really really enjoyed it was it was a fun read better than the academy trilogy what I didn't like. My only thing is, I wish that uh, some of these events were incorporated into the Jedi Academy trilogy. I just wish, you know, the, all this Cornhorn stuff when he was at the Academy, I wish that was just incorporated into the Academy trilogy. I just, I, f- I think it would have just ended up being better. I, I, I think the Jedi Academy trilogy was written, you know, so it didn't go into detail of every single student who was there. So it basically left room for writers and authors to come along later and add some Jedi characters to that, I think. I could be wrong, but that just makes sense, because I feel like you, you know, I mean, this is Luke Skywalker's first, you know, group of Jedi students. I, that's kind of important. There's lots of nerdy people out there that would really like to know the names of everyone. Well, that's my review of I, Jedi. I enjoyed this book a lot, if you can't tell. I'd give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. I I debated giving this a 10 out of 10, but I'm like, I I don't think I can give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, is it on par with, you know, like Plagueis and Darth Bane, Path of Destruction and Kenobi and the Revenge of the Sith novel? And it's like, uh, probably not, but it's, it's close. I really enjoyed this book. This was a fun book to read and definitely better than the trilogy. I definitely enjoyed it a lot, so that's good. Of course, maybe I'm a tad biased because I do like Cornhorn, but the Jedi Academy trilogy, we follow Luke some of the time, and I like Luke, but, well, I'm not going to complain about the Academy trilogy here. Yeah. I thought uh, this book being in first person would be uh, would be bad. I wouldn't enjoy it, but um, no. I actually liked it. I thought it was good. It's, you know, we get... It's pure Cornhorn story. It's not... We have to hop around to 15 other characters and waste our time. It's like, no, it's strictly Cornhorn doing Cornhorn things. So that's that's good. So let me know what you thought of this uh, book down in the comments. I'd be interested to see what other people think of this book. I, I've heard that some people like the Academy trilogy but don't like the uh, don't like I Jedi, and then some people like I Jedi and don't like Jedi Academy. I fall into that second group apparently. So. That's interesting. You can watch some of the, uh, yeah, you can watch the Jedi Academy reviews on the screen now. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.